Setting up your Ingenico Move 5000 mobile terminal with a 3G connection. Your terminal will communicate with Bendigo Bank using a Telstra 3G SIM card. Your terminal will be delivered with a welcome pack and terminal box. To start, unbox your terminal. Your box will have the following contents. The terminal, battery, charger base and direct connect charging cable, SIM card, ethernet cable, receipt rolls. Open your welcome pack, which contains a quick reference guide to keep near your terminal, a user guide, card acceptance sticker for your store, and point of sale wobbler that can be placed on your counter or point of sale. Now we're ready to insert the battery and SIM card into the terminal. To do this, you need to ensure the terminal is not plugged into the power supply. Unclip the battery door, remove the SIM from the card supplied and insert it into port listed as SIM1. Ensure the SIM is inserted with the gold contacts facing down and the cut mark at the top. Make sure the SIM is pushed in until it can't go any further. Take out the battery pack. Locate the battery pack connector beside the battery compartment. Plug in the battery pack connector and verify that it locks. Place the battery pack in its compartment. Close the battery compartment door. Reset the clip to lock the door. Leave the terminal connected to power, either by sitting on the base or direct charging cable. This will charge the battery. If the battery symbol is flashing, the terminal is charging. The battery charges to full capacity in 4 hours and 50% in 1.5 hours. The device will now power up. If the device doesn't power up, press the green button to turn it on. When the device is powered up, it will display the FPOS screen. Press the function button and then the number 6 and press the green enter button. This will take you to the host comms mode screen. From the host comms mode screen, select GPRS and press the green enter button. Note, F2 and F3 on the screen will toggle between the options. After pressing the enter button, the terminal will return to the FPOS screen. From the FPOS screen, press the function button and then number two, and then the green enter button. Now you will be asked to enter the terminal ID. This has been provided to you via email. Your terminal ID is eight digits in length. Enter this number using the keypad and press the green enter button. You will now see a screen titled Interface Type. Press the red cancel button to continue. The terminal will now power up and display the FPOS screen once registered. Press the function button and then 102 on the keypad and press the green enter button. The terminal will now check for any software updates required. Your terminal will now display the Bendigo Bank home screen. From here, you need to log on. Press the grey menu button and select 4. Log on by pressing 2. The terminal will print a receipt and on the bottom of the receipt it will note log on success. Your terminal is now ready to go. Now that your terminal is up and running, we recommend contacting our help desk to get the secure passwords for your terminal. Your secure passwords are required for functions like refunds and manual settlement. Please note that secure passwords can only be supplied to signatories on the account. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to watch our other videos to become familiar with your Bendigo Bank Move 5000 terminal. If you have encountered any problems, we can help please contact our help desk on 1300 132 741.